Hello everyone, I'm Sheriff Wayne Ivan. It's time for another exciting episode of Riding Shotgun. Tonight I'm riding with our East Precinct. I got the honor of riding with Deputy Mitch Mathias, and I gotta tell you, we're gonna have some fun tonight. We're gonna make sure that Brevard County is safe, and you're gonna get to see up close and personal what Brevard County deputies do each and every day to protect our citizens. Let's go ride shotgun with Deputy Mitch Mathias. So Mitch, first of all, um, thanks for letting me ride with you tonight, man. Uh, I, uh, I hear nothing but great things about you and your uh, aggressive uh, uh, style over here. So we, uh, we want to jump in the car with you. You're a second generation Brevard County Deputy Sheriff. Your, your dad was here. Um, what's that like? I am. It's, uh, it's definitely different. My, my, dad and I, my dad and I have kind of very similar mentality and outlook on life. So I'm very lucky to have him to look up to. And when I have questions, about work or life in general, it's nice to have somebody that I can contact and get a straight up answer as yeah. a friend more than a more than a dad. He, he kind of helps me out with everything. So I was very lucky to get sent to this squad um, straight out of my field training program. Um, the squad's very diverse, but we work together very well. We have certain deputies that enjoy the traffic side of it, certain deputies that like the drugs and. Um, you know, other deputies that are pretty much well-rounded can handle everything from the, the in-progress calls to the detailed investigations. And I had great deputies to look up to when I got here that have since moved on, and some of them are still here as training officers and things like that. So um, as far as the supervision goes, it's a great squad to work for. Absolutely. 26 to 94 from Catalina and 3. So what do we got? Got a suspicious person schoolhouse street over by uh, one of the Out of Florida, Echo Yankee Charlie Echo Zero Eight. Somebody called and said you were acting a little weird. Are you high? Keep, keep your hand out of your pants, man. Keep your hand out of your pants. Are you high right now? Your eyes are pretty red. You all right? Okay. Work here? One of the other employees called us and said he was acting really weird and they were worried about his well-being, so they called us. Well they, told, well, they told me to come in and watch and see what he was doing. Okay. So he was doing them down there shooting ball and he came down here and sat down and throwed the ball up his hand down his pants like this. Yeah. I ain't seen nothing he did really did wrong, man. Okay. Well, if something changes, you need us, feel free to call us, all right? All right, sir. Have a good night. Thanks, Eddie. See you, my friend. Take care, bud. He was high. I mean, he's no arguing he was high, which explains why, why they thought he was acting weird when he walked in. But, I mean, at the end of the day, He's in a public place sitting on the bench shooting hoops. Everybody we talked to said all he's done is shoot hoops. There's not much else we can do with it. Uh, and I went and talked back with them while you were with, with the guy. And I told him if they, something changes, call us, and we'll come back and handle it. Absolutely. So. He advised a male that's still 10, 12, punched her in the face. He's going to be in the backyard because he's on any weapon. <coughs> 326. I'm 1018, 1094 for that from Merritt Avenue 3. 104, 205, 104, 1018. Green light here. We're going to go back up. For Bart, uh, 205 or 206. This other deputy on a battery with a suspect still on scene. He just got really, really nasty. And it just went boom. <laughs> Look. I see it. I see it. Do you want medical attention? We're going to have the no, fire department no, come no, check you out? No, 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 no. You sure? No, positive. Okay. So, Deputy Virgil's in there getting a statement right now from the victim who has a pretty good laceration on her lip. Um, she said that her ex-husband of 25 years moved to this house to help with some renovating that they're doing for their three children that they have together. Um, Somehow they got in an argument that spiked, and I guess he thought that punching her in the mouth would be a good idea. He punched her in the mouth and then left. So Deputy Virgil is going to get the sworn statement from, from the victim. If he establishes probable cause, then we're going to go try to see if we can locate the vehicle, locate the suspect. If no 
if we can't locate the suspect in a reasonable amount of time, Deputy Virgil is going to file a, a KBS report for the suspect's arrest. This guy uh, jumped some fences coming out of Tropical Manor. 26. I'll be out with a black male 13 Papa. 26. I'll be out with a black male 13 Papa, Gustrum, and Lucas. Black male cargo shorts and a black hoodie. What's up, man? How you doing? That's where I remember you from. Yeah. Come on, man. You ain't holding a gun or anything, are you? Seriously. I'm going to in just a minute. I'm just... Right. That's where I remembered you from. Yeah. Remember what I told you that night? Yes, sir. What happened, man? Two weeks later, we're chasing you in a stolen car with guns. <laughs> Come on. You done doing that kind of stuff? Yeah, I'm just going back home now. You going to straighten up? I did straighten up. I got a son out here for real. Like, I'm Good. Planning. I changed my life. I got a job interview tomorrow. Where at? I know. McDonald's. Right here. I know. The I'm one right across the street? Yeah. You going to get it? Yeah, I know I'm going to get it. There ain't no question. Good. Good deal, man. That's good. Um, you ain't holding a gun or nothing like that, right? No rocks. Okay. Do me a favor. Walk over this way for me. I get a 29 Papa check blackmail out of Florida by name so far. So far, 26, clear 10, 12 to 43 only. 10 4, go ahead. Hold on one sec for me. James says 10 54, 10 29 P. You got no one. He does have a probation status with a release date of 2021 out of Coco. For the offense of felony delivery with gun, concealed weapon, ammo, special conditions, remain confined to approved residents, no contact with victim or victim's family. His 27 is no Florida license. He was suspended indefinitely on January 27th. Failed to appear on traffic summons. 10 -4, thank you. You on house arrest? Be honest with me. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Not under arrest right now, but you are going to go in handcuffs. Okay? Yes. Turn around and put your hands behind your back for me. You're on house arrest. You're supposed to be doing grown-up stuff, right? Yes, sir. You're supposed to be an adult. Yes, sir. You got a kid. Now I got to take you to jail for violation of your probation because I don't have a choice. Okay? I told you if I caught you slipping again, I was going to take you to jail. You're going to jail tonight, okay? So why would, right. would you tell me you detained me and then say you're not under arrest? Just so you wouldn't take on, <laughs> take off on me. So Mitch, what do you love the most about being a deputy sheriff for the Brevard County Sheriff's Office? My favorite part of this job has got to be coming to work every day knowing that I'm going to have a good day and knowing that my community and the people that I work with and interact with as far as zone partners, supervisors, and the public in general um, has my support. I have their support and it's, it's an awesome place to work. It's a great community to work for and I wouldn't want it any other way. Well, brother, I appreciate you letting me ride shotgun with you tonight, my friend. Thank you. Great job, buddy. It was fun.